Okay. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? It's Trish is dying to know. I am. We've got a question. We have. Uh, from Vera? It is from oh, Vera. Oh, it's from Vera. I, I remember. love Vera. And Vera wanted to know... Oh, yes. In the past, you've spoken about uh, when people die suddenly of mm -hmm. usually accidents. Yeah. Um, often they can have a really shocked look on their face, which mm -hmm. is part of the reason why you do a prep, to make it look yes. more peaceful in the end. So you close the mouth, close the eyes, yada, yeah. yada. Mm -hmm. um, and she just wanted you to elaborate on that a little bit. And I okay. think the question behind Vera's question is, is the look on a person's face the result of them seeing at the last minute how they're going to die and being shocked like oh <gasps> yeah or is it um like because of impact or is it just because of the circumstances of the death is it something that would have happened had they have seen i don't know the semi-trailer coming towards their car yeah. or not uh, yes it's a good question uh half had people that come in that look uh like shocked and eyes and uh mouth wide open but whether or not that's because they've seen anything happen or not, or it's been the actual impact in the, they've been killed instantly. So the face is set in a way like the trauma of the accident. It could be even impact. The physical impact. You know, yeah. It could be the fact that they didn't go, oh, it could be the impact so fast that they didn't even know it was there. And it's just the physical motion of the... So maybe it's the you know the truck going into the car and the car being forced at a high speed and that you know mm. because when you, I'm not like very the good. inertia. Yes, that's it. I'm not good at was it was it talking. Yeah, I'm not good at talking. <laughs> it, You're very good at talking. The physics. Physics. That's the word. See, I'm science. Really, I'm really crap at science and physics. So the physics of something when you know you watch the TV and you've got the crash test dummies and the actual. You know, it's so yeah. intense and fast that it could be just because of that, not because they've been in like, oh, my God, this is about to happen. It could be the fact that it's the physics to do with the actual accident or what kind of accident. So I do get people coming in like with eyes like wide open like that. Do you notice a pattern? So like people who fall mm -hmm. for their death. This is horrible to talk about. Yeah. Do you notice a pattern in, I mean, obviously people will get messed up in different ways because of the impact. Yes. Uh, but if they were not, mm -hmm. do you notice a, a pattern in that? Like, because they have time, I would assume, to think about yeah, that. Yeah, when it's or... from a great height. Yeah, no, I've, I've had people fall from a great height with no injuries whatsoever. Right. You know, nothing, you know, everything intact. Do they look shocked? And they don't look shocked. No. no, no, they're just, yeah, unfortunately dead. But uh, no, don't okay. look shocked. Okay. And other ones with trauma on the face, like cuts and organs yeah. and, you know, all of this kind, that, again, could be from the physical the fall. Yeah. Yeah, impact. So What about people who drown? Um, again, it's more often than not when people drown, the eyes are usually actually closed unless we've got a lot of edema, which the eyes are filling with water and bulging out and I don't mean eyes don't pop out they don't come out it's they just, bulge it's just the water yeah. retention and you know the uh, edemics of the body's where it's filling the fluids of all your cells are breaking down and pouring fluid into your body so uh, when I get people in from drowning um, they often you know the eyes are closed so yeah it's it's hard to say but as in trauma of the I can't say I really have. Because you've had a few cases, and not to be too specific because they're very well known, um, where it's been a very sudden, very sharp impact. Yes. And that's it. Like, yeah. Uh, and they don't necessarily have that look of horror. No, no. Very calm. Very asleep, you know. Even the eyes and the mouth are closed. Interesting, isn't you know, it? Because a lot of the times you get people from nursing homes, older people, and they're in bed, and once they die, obviously muscles, everything gives way, and they tend to nearly all the time. Mouths come open and the eyes go open. It's a, uh, and they look more shocked than you would get in the trauma. A trauma, but they're not shocked. It's just the normal reactions Reaction. of mm. death. Once death is there. 
because there's nothing left for our muscles to close our eyes and mouth. And in a lot of time, they're very dehydrated, all the people and frail. So the dehydration pulls the eye, you know, there's nothing for them to have the eyes closed. And you get the nurses nursing home air where the staff will put the little towel under and roll it up just to try and keep the mouth closed, which is great. But yeah, so you tend to see that more and you think, oh, that looks quite traumatising. And that's why it's good for families to have a view in after because that's the basic job I do is... Because they might be face. sitting there while the person's dying yep. and watching that and it's horrific and yep. then they die and their mouth's open and their eyes are open. But then when they see them next in a viewing, you've got them nicely... Yeah, and they look Calm. peaceful. Yeah, so the, and they'll go, I'm glad I had a viewing because... Grandma looked horrified when she died. She looked like she was in pain and agony, and now she looks calm. And and, and that's why it's good to have a view. And sometimes, I mean, I know I'm going to get questions when not everybody wants to view. I do understand that, but to to see the difference and to know that you know you you got traumatized by seeing grandma's eyes and mouth wide open, to actually come in and see the eyes closed and the mouth closed at peace is so so different. And the other point in all of this is that everything you do is for the comfort of the family. Yes. And the people who are alive. Yeah. So really, it isn't is. it? Like, it is. Yeah. It's not for the deceased it's, person. No, it's out of respect know. to the deceased yeah. person to clean them up, especially if yeah. they've soiled themselves or yeah. they've got some um, purge, purge the out of the... Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's only really for the family. It's yeah. for the people left behind to know that that person is now at peace or to know that whatever they need to know. Yeah, and that they've been cared for, washed yeah. and dressed and looked after and are really nicely presented, ready for the family to So stay. often you get families who are like, don't touch them. We're happy. We're, it's fine. Yeah. Don't touch them. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we get lots of families that yeah. I don't want you to touch them. They've been don't through want... enough. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, so all I do in them cases is just make sure there's nothing awful on the face clean anything off and that's it yeah and put them in the so it's all up is. to your choice yes it D is your choice despite so, yeah. and regardless of whatever trace says here yeah it's always the family's choice it is yeah i often get say don't touch just leave as in no face prep and you know because these days with these kind of videos and other people that do videos like this people are now knowing that we suture the mouth we put cotton in the nose and uh, eye caps in the eyes and some families know all that now and they'll go I prefer you just didn't do that just leave them as is and then that's fine too there's not and I've had viewings like that where there's no suturing of the mouth there's uh, no eye caps in or anything like that it's just natural and of course natural burials where it's all natural we can't put any of that in or do any of that. There has to be none. There's just cleaning of the face and eyes, and but there's no cotton in the mouth. There's no suture and there's no eye caps because the plastic. So it's all natural. So yeah. It just I guess depends on where the family is and the whole journey of grief and death. And Absolutely. Everybody's got different ideas about these things, so we're trying to be inclusive for everybody's yeah. ideas. Absolutely. So a good question, but I tend not to find people that look traumatized like from any horrific accidents you know that's good to know it is good to know yeah but thanks yeah you're welcome thank you for that question it was great thank you and uh take care everybody till next time bye <laughs>